Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we are going to be covering web design trends. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So just a little bit of background on what web design trends are and what web design is overall. It's pretty much a process of creating the visual elements. You've got layout, overall aesthetic appeal of a website and this as well involves a combination of artistic and technical skills to design an engaging and user-friendly interface. Now web designers use design principles, color theory, typography, imagery and graphics to create a visually appealing and cohesive design. So basically uh, web design is a collaboration work or could be an individual work and just means basically that you have ways to basically develop a creative website. You could use mockups as well to visualize what web design you want to create and what is trending at the moment. Anyway, we'll push on and we'll take a look at some of the web design trends. Okay, so one that actually strikes most of the websites now is to do with the minimalism. Now, minimalistic design focus on the simplicity of a website. So that means clean lines, uh, ample white space, eliminates uh, unnecessary elements and clutter to create a sleek and modern look. So that basically just means unnecessary clutter. Uh, so just remove big long paragraphs. Maybe you can link them to other pages. Because if you have everything cluttered in one section, I could at least be a little bit of an eyesore especially for the user and if you're developing a website it can be a little bit confusing as well so it's best to have a clean look for the website and as well as that you're actually adding to the performance because the less the uh, the better uh, what I'll do is I'll show you guys an example of a minimalistic look for a website so of course we have a couple of pop-ups for this website this is ETQ now if I X off this, you could see that once I've loaded in, you've got some slight animation there, swifts to the right. Uh, it's very minimalistic as well. Uh, you've got your white section on your right side, a little bit of text and font, uh, the different colors from the right side uh, text to compared to the left side. You could see the pop-ups as well. How it's like a boxed area. It's not a complete uh, full on box from edge to edge. There's actually a little bit of background as you can see uh, within the white text box. And if I, if you watch closely of the animation, if I go over the text, you can see the search it has a little bit of animation underneath. That is actually called a hover. So that's another uh, form of functionality and minimali minimalism as well. So if we scroll down the website, you can see the different parts of animation there as well. So you can see how this switches from one plain look to another uh, look, which is more of a background. Uh, you can see the slow animation and movement on this. And you can see how short the website is you've got just your hero section there with a background and a header that follows you down as well uh, that's not that's borderless as well and you've got your footer on the bottom so that's just a an example of a minimalistic look towards web design now what you need as well is responsive design so responsive design is key to having a successful website of course when you have a responsive design that means you're going into the audience of mobile devices or people with mobile devices and people with tablets of course with the increasing use of mobile devices responsive design has to be essential uh, websites are designed to adapt and provide optimal viewing and functionality across various screen sizes and devices now you'll mainly see this sort of stuff when you're maybe working on a website builder as well. Uh, you do notice a couple of sections like 
you'll have the option to have it on the desktop version, then you'll have an option to put it as a mobile version or a tablet version. You always have to make sure when you are creating a website, if the page shrinks down, the elements within that website has to match the screen size. Now, you're, there's no point in the, of having a, say if you have a mobile, and you see the the text that you see behind the responsive design. Uh, of course, it's our expert business uh, blog offers a world of. And then, if that's say 50 px on a phone, it's not going to make sense. It's going to be too big uh, for the user to see. So it has to optimize to a different screen size. So you could background code that as well. So if you need to do some optimization as well. That's all within the CSS work of the website. And there's different screen sizes that you can optimize it to. So say if the user is at 1440px by 500px, and then that goes down to 250px to 800px. Now, that means that it should code it so that the text or font size changes then the layout as well changes so probably changes positions it could change in size things like that there's several ways to having a responsive design on a website with this as well with creating a responsive design you're just adding to that look for the website as well you can see the different mobile versions as you can see it's just important to have um, this here actually in the background as you can see is a mobile friendly test now this is uh free from google you can use it uh, as well i've actually added our url and the background there it takes about a minute or two just to load up and basically tests a live url of the current web page so that could be a handy thing to have especially if you want to take a look at the responsiveness of your soon to be website you could probably test it out here uh, as you can see it's loading up now and as you can see um, it is usable on website you could see the tested page as well um, that's how it would look like uh, that's a screenshot of it so you could see how it's optimized the text and the how it's become a hamburger menu now, if we take a look at a proper website here of profile tree you can see that there's there services portfolio blog about contact you've got our little search bar there get in touch now if you compare that to the mobile friendly version you can see it's a search bar icon not the text bar and you've got a hamburger menu as well you can see that it's optimized everything else it's removed the get in touch area and it's actually removed the dark and um, light mode. So that's just a, a bit of information on that. If this would, this is very handy to have the mobile friendly test. You can see the HTML background of it as well. You can get some more information as well of it. The HTTP response. So see how it bounces back. And yeah, that, that's just a handy little feature to have, especially if you're looking for uh, testing your mobile friendly um, website. Next one there is bold typography. Now that is another key feature to have uh, for web design trends. Large bold typography is used to create an impact and grab attention. Fonts with unique styles, creative typography, choices are popular for headings and key messages. So using our profile tree website as an example, you can see how bold the white text is compared to the background. You can see our expert business blog offers a world of digital how-to and if I take a look at the front there you can see that we've there's some added green onto it as well just uh, adding those keywords that sleek optimized um, so that's a couple of things that you could do for your website you can see the design font as well and the design font compared to this this is more to attract a viewer compared to this so this is just a little bit of background uh, as to what the business is all about so that's a couple of methods on how you would use bold typography now another one that you may want to use is dark mode 
Now, dark mode offers an alternative color scheme with dark backgrounds and light text. Now, this as well reduces eye strain for the user, conserves battery life and devices, and adds a sleek modern aesthetic to the website. Now, I could do an example for this. So again, using our profile tree website, you can see from the actual website itself on the top right, you'll see a little icon there uh, showing the moon. So basically there is a light version of it. As you can see, the font has changed from white to black. So that's adding a little bit of responsiveness to the website itself. You can see it's a lot brighter. Uh, in, by looking at the website itself, it's it's, it's still a very re modern looking website, nice and min minimalistic as well. Now if I click on that, it's dark moded. So that's it defaulted uh, on dark mode. And of course you have light mode there and that works for every other page as well, uh, as you can see. So how the forms turn from dark to bright so that would be another feature to have for your website if you are sticking to the web design trends. Now another one that you may want to add is custom illustrations. Now unique and custom illustrations add personality and engage users. They tend to help brands stand out and convey their message in a creative and visually appealing way. So that's another one as well for the books if you want to add some custom illustrations to your website. Another very very popular tool that's being used at the minute is parallax scrolling so that tends to just um, create a more depth version of your imagery or uh, imagery sorry or video background and basically it just uh, while you're moving through the website uh, the elements of the background move a little bit slower and it adds that dynamic and interactive element to the user's experience. Now I'm not too sure if this website actually does it, but you could see here, so this is more of an advanced parallax scrolling. As you can see, if I move my uh, scroller down, the AirPods actually move with the screen while the background text is disappearing. So that is a bit of advanced uh, coding, as you can see from this one. Now, you could see how the entire uh, website pretty much scrolls with you and you have that immersive modernized background and it mixes with the use of video as well. So it's just a modernized website, especially from that start here, just the AirPods itself just uh, clashing into the screen. So that is an example of parallax scrolling. Now another one to maybe consider is the voice user interface. Now with the rise of voice assistants and smart devices, you may want to consider voice user interfaces. As you can see, it's gaining in popularity. So it's something that would be a great way to interact or for the users to interact with the website. Uh, of course, websites are designed to be voice friendly, allowing users to interact and navigate using voice commands. So that's one you can have for your website. Can be particularly helpful for um, anyone who just wants to maybe use their uh, a voice operated system in order to navigate their way around the website could be easier for the user themselves. So that could be one to have. And last one that I want to cover is sustainable design. So as environmental uh, consciousness uh, grows, of course, sustainable design principles are being incorporated into web design. So this includes optimizing website performance, reducing energy consumption, and using eco-friendly design elements. So could be one to consider, but of course, uh, if you want to go all out with your website, by all means do, do so, uh, especially if it's your first website to have. But anyways, guys, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. That is more or less some of the design trends that are readily available now. There are pretty much some great examples out there. Something, some of the ones that you can 
possibly incorporate to your website, make it look more minimalistic, add a little bit of flair to the website. So there's plenty of options to choose. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do let us know in the comment section below. And if you want to maybe find out a little bit more about web design and development itself, why not check our website at www.profiletree.com and check out some information and read some of our blogs on web design and development. But anyways, guys, I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.